Hello, is anyone home? That is one angry druid. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out the rest. Thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Well, I do admit she does look like a demon, but uh, I'm, I am Bubalion, the human paladin. I'm versed in the ways of justice. Make your case and I will pass judgment. I will make the right call. You can trust me. Very well. I'll defer to your ruling. My circle has offered grace to these outsiders. We gave them shelter from storm. We nourished their bellies. In return, these devils lured in a horde of goblins. And their spawn stole the one relic that might keep us safe. We've taken back our relic. But I will keep the fiend caged till our protection rite is complete. I see. And what do you have to say for yourself, little demon child? I... I was scared. They said when the rite was over we'd have to leave. But there's goblins out there and worse. And it's nice here. So I... I took the idol. I thought maybe then we could stay. Please let me go. I'll be good, I swear. Well, Paladin. What say you? Mm, I think I understand situation justice means nothing without mercy let her go return to her family she's made amends and you have your relic bubalion rules that you must let her go thank you thank you thank you Tila, to me out thief my grace has its limits <laughs> it hurts Shadow Heart? Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Oh, lucky I came along when I did. There's a lot going wrong. Hmm. What do you guys think about this? Stay close. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Yet she failed. That's what matters. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Valion does have a very good imagination. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. Very well. I trust you, Shadowheart. 
What about you, Gail? That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Yes, putting a child on display like that was monstrous. I'm glad we intervened. Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. That's a very good point, Gail. Sounds like perhaps you were a bit of a naughty boy growing up. All right, let's gather some more information. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well, I swore an oath to stop terrible deeds like that. Monsters like her. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Varga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin caught, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more, sent into a world gone mad. No one's looking for Halsin. I could do it. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. No need to fret. Bubalion will find him. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. We take Come Grove on. Law seriously. Right. By letting that child escape without consequence. We might as well have lain on the ground and let them trample us. Oh, no. I hate wolves. I didn't realize you were frightened of wolves, Shadowheart. Everyone's frightened of something. My fear's hardly irrational when you see the fangs on those things. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Even Bubalion is scared of some things like hell. I won't judge your fears. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. Maybe that's what I like about you. What? You're different. Oh, I, I like you too, Shadowheart. I like you as well. Ah, oh, you stupid wolf. Get out of here. Oh, you're very aggressive. Let me get a little bit closer. Let me show you the expertise I picked up in animal, animal high school. Not animal high school. Paladin high school. I'm not an animal. I'm a human. Human paladin. Thorb's fur bristles. He wants to jump. Wants to bite. A low growl builds in his throat as his eyes track the movement of your tail. It's agitating him. I won't hurt you. His ears twitch as you speak, but his eyes don't shift from your tail. He sees you as a threat. Listen, Wolf, it's not a real tail. It's a fake one that I wear. I'm actually human. I wish I could offer more assistance. For now, I must keep a close watch on Gorga. I hope to see both you and Halsen again soon. No, don't worry about that. When Bubalion sets his mind to something, he always does it. Now, Korga, so you have some rats here. Do they have anything to say for themselves? Okay, what about you? Let's see, I see. Well, what about you? Ah, right, Korga, time to defend yourself. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Well, you are a bit of a monster, but, uh, you know, sometimes when you're protecting your own, it requires you to be a monster. 
First, you urge grace. Then you speak truth. To think a devil could surprise me twice over. What devil? A shame the grace period ends. The viper's fangs have been bared. She must guard her brood. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Okay, first things first, Bubalion is not a devil, not a demon. I'm a human paladin, everyone knows me. Uh, but beside that, uh, this rite must be born of powerful magic. The Rite of Thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the Great Vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. I don't think Sylvanus uh, really thinks that. Listen, I'm here on Zevlor's behalf. His people could perish if you force them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Oh, that's very ominous. Seems I'd better speak to Zevlor then. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the Grove forever shrouded. Finished? What if they tried to steal from us? The game! We've shown them once. We take Grove Law seriously. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. Well, you know, I was just checking in again. Uh, is there a healer here? I heard there was. Be looking for one. Netty, yes. She's bumbling about somewhere. But if your treatment is meant to outlast the right, you'll be removed with the rest. Very well. Uh, listen, Sevlor sent me, and his people won't survive out there. They may die on the road. They will die if they stay. A clear choice, I would say. My goodness, you are always so angry. Okay, what do we have here? A logbook. Maybe this will shine some more light on what's been going on. Hmm, so the old stag with the elegant stag. Six Uktar. Sent two druids, some of the new recruits up north. The village there has had two years of failed crops and are unlikely to survive the next winter. Now in Uktar, a group from Baldur's Gate arrived. They've set up camp on the edge of the forest. Two bears and a fox came by. Their territory has been burned out. Half of the fox's cubs died, paying this new group a visit tomorrow. Ten Uktar visit did not go well. After telling me where to shove it, they said they'd cut down half the forest and burn out any wildlife that dared stick around. Claimed they were going to farm the land and make a new city of their own. Time to get creative. Sounds like there's quite a conflict here. Twelve Uktar. Mudslide did the trick. Buried half their farming equipment and made the rest useless. They won't be back any time soon. Got reports of a red wizard in the village south of here. Sending three rangers to investigate. They catch even a whiff of a red cloak. I'm contacting the house of Sylvanus. Seems like these druids have been playing some pranks on people to keep them away from their forests. Well, more than a prank. Attempted murder, perhaps. The conflict between druid and man. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. She's a Servants' child. quarters. What do we have in here? Let's have a quick little look around, see if there's any goodies. Since Bubalion is not a thief, I won't be touching anything that glows red. I don't want another trip to jail. Well, jail in another timeline, because Bubalion did not go to jail in this timeline. Looks like there's nothing, nothing to see here. Let's continue looking around. Oh, here we go. One of these and one of those, a few camp supplies. Hmm, who is this person? Not for 
communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. I'm sorry, I did not mean to knock that over. I'm sorry you're upset, but hello, I'm Bubalion. I see you. Just give me a moment. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? A moment. This may be kept. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Wow. Now, what was it you needed? Uh, I need healing, and it looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Mm -hmm. You seem healthy, you know. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Look, there's no good way of putting this. I have a Mind Flayer tadpole inside my head, and I would like it removed as soon as possible. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? Yes. You know of them? Can you help me? Please? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Let me just explain that each of my companions also have mind flare tadpoles in their heads. So uh, they will need help as well. There's an additional one as well. His name is Estelion. He is currently at the camp. He was talking about killing me a lot, so I left him there. But uh, I'll have to bring him to come and see you as well. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. A drow? What is a drow doing here? Who's, is everyone being captured by mind flayers these days? Didn't think it was... Uh, common experience uh, did you hear my question Netty hello rather too common as of late at least that's what master Halson suspected a pity you got me instead of him he understands these things studied them still we have options. Options, I like options. All right. Let's see what we can do. Thank you. I'll take anything that can help. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Well, funny you should say there's been quite a lot, but the first thing that jumps to mind is that I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Well, there was a Nautiloid, a Mind Flayer ship. It was uh, kidnapping and infecting everyone. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. Oh. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. I agree. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. Uh, I thought you could cure me. What, what about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. Oh. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Well, that's very disappointing, but uh, I, I swear you have my word. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Well, Bubalion is a bit extraordinary, but... Uh... 
What do you mean should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. You said you were tracking other victims. Did they change as well? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I see. What do you want me to do about this? I can help. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Sounds like a pretty good deal. I will find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. Oh, I believe I've met them. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why do you call him? Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. Better than becoming a mind player. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. This is the dead drow we spoke of before. I think I'm really getting a grasp of everything that's happened here at the Grove. Hmm. It's a dead I'm examining. Can't really see much. You know, I could use my amulet on this drow. I'd need to have a rest before I could do it, but uh, definitely sounds like something I want to do. Get a little bit more information. See if this drow was with the mind players or not, or uh, something over there. Something secret over door. There. This big slab here is the secret door. Don't think I want to go in there quite yet, though. Yes, so it looks like the adventurers have travelled north. Halson has gone with them. The adventurers were there for uh, their own reasons, and Halson was there to get information. They've been captured by goblins. The adventurers, or at least some of them, got out, ran back here. The goblins chased them. That is when I came in, and I killed them. Towson did not make it out. Well, we're unraveling the mystery. Let's see if uh, no one's around. I can... A letter. Let's have a read. What's on this letter? Track the druid, find whatever burrow he runs to, and report back to me. Remember, you are only a scout. Do not engage, do not kill anyone. Simply observe and return. I shall decide what we do next. M. Who is M? This drow does not sound like someone who has a tadpole in their brain. There's more to this, I can feel it. 